BJ. Woo! See, that was better than whenever you read it off of the list. You went BJ and you went, eh. That was, that sucked. Tonight I'm going to talk about something, um, being a good buddy of mine, we have a, uh, we, we, we have joined a team that, that is awesome. <coughs> team Vasectomy. Woo! Woohoo! I found out how that, how that whole having a baby happens, and I took care of that shit. <laughs> um, and get that the butt. Well, actually, I was married to a woman. I thought we would be married forever. We're not. Um, <laughs> so, any ladies that want to have a drink, I'll be right out there afterwards. Um, I'm on the market again. He's kidding, he's gay. <laughs> he meant you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to drink I'm glad you feel good that way. Michael, Michael, Michael Leo? Michael Leo, got it. All right. Now's on time. Anyways, whenever you go to get a vasectomy, you have to go to the urologist. Say it with me. Urologist. Every urologist thinks he's a comedian. It's not. They keep their offices at negative 10 degrees at all times. So they can make this joke every time whenever they go to... I, 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 I don't know any other way to put it, but fill you up is how you would have to put this. Because he's going to cup your testicles while you're standing there with your pants around your ankles. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. It was it was the closest to gay that I've actually ever been. <laughs> Except for that one night with Phil. Oh, oh. Night. <laughs> Dude, we probably way, my friend that. Phil is the one that accused me of being gay, that's why I put him in this joke. <laughs> <laughs> so while he's doing that, he looks at me and goes, Colton here, isn't it? And I was like, you just examine. I don't need the commentary. <laughs> he didn't think that was funny, so he obviously squeezed instead of just examine, <laughs> which was not pleasant at all. But then you go into the surgery, and they give you these awesome pain pills before you go to the surgery. They tell you, take a pain pill an hour before the surgery because we're not going to put you all the way under. And they're not. They don't put you all the way under for a vasectomy. So guys, if you're getting a vasectomy, just be prepared. They're like a dentist. They like to talk to you while they're doing it. And that's kind of scary. Anyways, they come in and he asked me, the, the question that he asked me is this. He says, hey, um, I have someone who needs to observe this test. Do you mind if they come in here? And I'm hopped up on pain pills, so I'm like, oh, bring in the receptionist. Let's go ahead and get some people out of the waiting room in here. <laughs> it'll be glorious. It'll be awesome. And then this really cute blonde-headed girl walks into the room. Right before he makes a joke for a second time, is it Colton here? Yes, it's Colton here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you know that already. That's why you keep the office of gold so you make that damn joke every time. <laughs> And then, about halfway through, what you need to do, because you're still actually awake, is fight Novocaine. You know they put that Novocaine in your mouth? But you can, you're can you still awake, so they talk to you while their hands are in your mouth, like, hey, so how's life treating you? And you're like, oh, my God! <laughs> but in this case, your mouth is completely able to be used, but you're high on pain medication, so there's no telling what might come out of it. And halfway through the surgery, I jump up and go, Do you smell bacon? <laughs> and he was like, Uh. <laughs> he was not prepared for that question. <laughs> I was prepared for that question because I knew it was coming. I had planned it before I took the pain medication. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the story of how you get a vasectomy. Remember, guys, always ask, Do you smell bacon? They never expect that question. <laughs> <laughs>